to my channel if you're new then thanks for joining us today again before we get into the video i just want to apologize for how infrequently i'm posting at the moment life is just crazy busy work is crazy busy so i'm just struggling to find time to film and upload at the minute so thank you for bearing with me if you're new around here thanks for joining us today i am super excited to get into this rocker box this is one of the limited edition rocker boxes so this is the rocker box get the gloss the hero edit and this is how it arrived just in this little sleeve and then you've got the normal pink rocker box there and on the edge it just says there is no limit to hair agent alive and irresistible you can be so this is one of their limited edition boxes they also do a regular monthly subscription service but the limited edition boxes are amazing amazing value for money i think this is the third one that they've done this year i could be wrong i know i picked up the first sort of editor's picks one which was brilliant and then i managed to resist the second one even though there were amazing products in it and um, but this one there was one item in particular that i was desperate to try so when i saw it included in this box it just seemed like a no-brainer to pick it up and all of the other items are lovely as well so it's a nice little extra bonus so enough jabber from me this cost 35 pounds plus your postage which i think was 3.95 um, and we have how many items do we have eight items all of which are full size barring one one is travel size so you've got seven full size items one deluxe travel size item and the one product that i was interested in i will show you first but that one just blew me away i couldn't believe it was being included in the box and the value is insane so $38.95 this box cost me and the first product I'm going to show you is this one which is the one I was most excited about and this is the Votary Super Seed Serum Broccoli Seed and Peptides Fragrance Free 50ml full size and this RRP is at £75 so I lusted after this brand in particular but um, the Super Seed Serum was one that I was really interested in trying for the longest time um, but 75 quid for a serum is a little bit out of my price range but having just spent 35 pound on a box with eight products and this is one of them uh, it seemed like a no-brainer to pick it up and to get to actually try this amazing brand so this is how it comes i love the aesthetics of it you know by now if you followed me for a while that i'm always into how packaging looks i'm a sucker for good packaging i love how plain and simple it is it's a lovely little green glass bottle and yeah i've just heard really really great things about this product i mean the outside packaging is also beautiful and would make a great gift but i'm not gifting it i'm keeping this so let's um just read up a little bit on what it says for sensitive redness prone and irritated skin this serum relieves redness while calming and rejuvenating cooling and refreshing it leaves your skin smooth resilient and fully hydrated so that's what i was kind of interested in it for when um i have had issues with irritated skin redness thinking that this would be a product that may help to improve my skin barrier apply morning and night after cleansing before applying facial oil or moisturizer there's no fragrance allergens in here color or dyeing drying alcohol it contains broccoli seed and rosehip oils to deliver a natural lipid boost while hyaluronic acid increases moisture levels and plumps skin grapeseed extract soothes reactive skin natural and bioengineered peptides boost skin's natural defenses by supporting lipid function and microbial balance so yeah i'm really really excited to try this and i think with it having hyaluronic acid in as well that could maybe help skip a step so if you already use a hyaluronic acid you can skip that one and just use this instead so we've got a little leaflet here as well which came with the box so we'll just see what it says so this is uh, victoria woodall who's the editor of get the gloss and she's picked all the items in the box and then it, she just gives a little write-up on what she's what she thinks of each product and why she's included it so this one says i'm drawn to natural ingredients that really work and votary has them in spades i've become a real fan of its luxurious plant and oil blends which are like superfoods for the face not to mention ridiculously effective this particular serum is incredible on tired, dry or sensitised skin and is packed with peptides and antioxidants. It perks up a fatigued, dull complexion without aggravating as it contains no fragrance. So yeah, if you are interested in fragrance-free products, more natural-based products, then Votary is definitely a brand that you might want to look into. They're cruelty-free and vegan and they're made in England. So yeah, 
that's the item that I bought this box for and then I've got seven other items which are a complete bonus I'm just gonna have a little sip of tea in my nice Christmassy mug just because I don't want it to go cold right next up what else have we got in here so this is the next item this is quite a big one um this is from Manuka Doctor and this is Cashmere Green Age Defying and Hydrating Manuka Skincare so I think this is just a moisturiser. Visibly revitalised skin and increased skin firmness after just one application with this luxurious face cream. That is quite a claim. Skin appears more radiant, smooth and silky soft, clinically proven to increase skin firmness, elasticity and reduce wrinkle depth in 28 days. Natural ingredients, powerful manuka honey from New Zealand, effective ingredients well known for their age-defined benefits. Bee-friendly harvested manuka honey, which is nice to know. Um, how much have we got in here? 40 ml and this is full size as well yep i'm intrigued by it saying that it's you know sort of anti-aging and firming as to what ingredients are in here other than the honey there's glycerin which is great for obviously moisturization there's some meadow foam seed oil castor seed oil um shea butter so lots of moisturizing ingredients i'm not sure what it is in here that's going to firm my skin and help with the wrinkles unless it is just the honey who knows uh, let's have a oh have a little sniff just smell really nice there is fragrance in this one added fragrance so if you're looking fragrance free this isn't going to be one for you but i quite like fragrance in my skincare um i do like things that smell nice it's part of my sort of self-care routine doing my skincare every day so i quite enjoy that fragrant uh, element of it let's see what it says in the leaflet so this says it's a rich cream that melts into the skin leaving it instantly silkier smoother and softer when i use this it feels like such a treat and it also makes a great mask for cozy evenings in front of netflix smells divine and just like a cashmere jumper is a winner on texture blending manuka honey and sheer butter oh i hadn't thought about using it as a mask so yeah i suppose if you wanted to really pack in some moisture to your skin you could put you know a thin layer on and leave it on for a long amount of time and this rr piece for 30 pounds interested to try that one sounds really nice and it smells gorgeous next up we have this from dalkamy is that how you pronounce this brand, Alchemy? This is 50ml Natural Microdermabrasion Peel. Oh, okay, so this is a, a skin peel. A super reliable exfoliant, recommended for all mature skin types, except for acne skin with heavy inflammation. So yeah, not, not ideal at any point, I don't think, with any product to be heavily exfoliating your skin if you've got sensitive, irritated skin. I think you have to be quite careful with how you use your exfoliants then. Uh, but this says that it removes impurities and dead skin cells, unblocks pores and allows better absorption of active ingredients from creams. So this is based on white clay. The formula contains rice powder, soothing and cleansing plant hydrosols and extracts, as well as small amounts of specially selected plant oils. Skin is left smooth, silky smooth, soft to the touch and less shiny, looking youthful and healthy. This sounds really interesting, actually. This one is vegan friendly, 100% vegetarian ingredients, not tested on animals, no parabens, no phthalates, no sulfates, no minerals, no petrolatum, no paraffin, no silicons, no linoleum, no glycols, no ethanol, ethanolamines, no PABA, no synthetic dyes, no synthetic fragrance, no animal by ingredients. That was a lot. 98.6% ingredients of natural origins, 50% plant hydrosols, 1.2% natural essential oils. So if your skin is irritated by essential oils, maybe not for you. Uh, just say, apply a large dose onto your face, having first cleansed. Massage the skin gently, avoiding around the eyes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water, use one to two times a week. So it's not one that you leave on or anything. It's just a, a literally a massage on, rinse off. Yeah, interesting. I like the packaging on this as well. How nice is that tube? Metal tube as well, which is great because you should be able to recycle it. Really nice. Sounds really interesting. I haven't tried this brand before. I don't think I've heard of them before, to be honest. Let's see what it says in the leaflet. So this RRP is for £29. And it says, this is one of my favourite sustainable genderless brands. 
I loved everything of theirs that I've tried. This is highly effective but gentle physical exfoliator with white clay rice pad and plant oils. Creates a clean canvas for serums and active creams, allowing the skin to absorb their ingredients better. You massage it in gently and rinse off with warm water and it removes impurities and dead skin cells. Leaves skin smoother, softer and thoroughly cleansed. A really good once a week addition to a skincare regime, which yeah, I don't exfoliate more than once a week, really. I just find that my skin can't handle any more than that. So next up at the bottom, we have a hand mask and this is from Nails Inc. And yeah, I think at the moment with the way everyone is washing their hands more using these alcohol gels, a hand mask is a really handy thing to have. I have used face masks from Face Inc, which is part of the Nails Inc branded company, but I don't think I've tried their hand mask before. It looks like it's got a really nice design with like pink and palm leaves on. And this RRP is for £8. And it's a super hydrating hand mask for dry and tired skin with botanical extracts, vitamin E and shea butter. So that sounds really nice. So you just put these on for like 15 to 20 minutes and they help to just super moisturise your hands if you've got any dry skin um, or cracked skin. Um, yeah, it might be, might be a good thing to use. And this says, who doesn't have dried out over sanitised hands right now? I care for mine with this rich moisturising treatment. Deeply conditions, rejuvenates and restores them back to their former supple glory. Simply pop on the gloves and do nothing for 20 minutes while they work their moisturising magic. Rather cleverly, you can actually scroll through your phone as you wait for them to work. But I prefer to use it as an excuse to do absolutely nothing. So it must have um, some sort of um, material that will still allow you to use your phone and stuff, which sounds interesting like i say i haven't tried that one but it is nice to have a hand mask next up is one of these beauty cleansing sponges this is from solista and this is magic cleanse rrps for seven pounds i have some of the face halo ones which i really really love i do use my cleansers with them now i don't use them without but they do work removing your makeup without any cleanser so they're sustainable cleansing and makeup removal pads this is one reusable cleansing tool to reveal a peachy clear glow sustainable vegan and cruelty free and yeah you basically just wet them and then you can wipe off your makeup without using any um cleanser like i say i still use a cleanser with mine and then you can just pop them in the washing machine so i'm gonna open this one up so that we can see what it's like so oh actually this is quite different from the one i've used before because this has got two different sides this is more like um almost like an exfoliating side and this is the side that i like it's that super soft almost microfiber cloth um side i really like this this sounds interesting so it says to soak in warm water and squeeze out the excess start with the texturized side to polish the skin as illustrated so just in gentle circular motions and avoid your eye area and then flip over to the fluffy side and sweep across to remove any excess makeup or impurities so that's really interesting i haven't got one of these dual side ones before um it doesn't feel too rough or scratchy um yeah interested to give that a try so yes yeah, seven pounds and it says i've tried many reusable cleansing pads and this one knocks it out of the park it effectively lifts and removes makeup grime spf you name it, with just the addition of water, saving you money on cleansers. What's more, it's double-sided. One side gently exfoliates and removes impurities from the surface of the skin, while the other cleanses deeper into your pores as is gentle enough to use around the eyes. It's a thoughtful and sustainable alternative to micellar or cream cleanser. I still enjoy using, I use a cleansing balm or oil, and then I use a second step cleanser, which tends to be a gel or a cream cleanser. Um, that's just personally what I like to do. And then I will use a pad with that to help remove my cleanser. But it's personal preference and they do work without any cleansing agents, if that's how you want to use them next up we've got this from crabtree and evelyn this is the gardener's mixed berry oil booster and i have had crabtree and evelyn products before in the past in subscription boxes i think maybe hand creams and things um, but they seem to have had a little remake a little refurb on their packaging which is nice this is a really nice little box like a little cardboard box yeah this is the mixed berry oil booster feels light absorbs quick added boost so it's got acai berry goji berry and kakadu so it says add a few drops for a boost of benefits three to four to your serum or cream so let's have a look this comes in really nice packaging so inside the box you've then got this additional box and look at that that is stunning again like a little brown glass bottle you've got the pipette we have in here 15 ml 
but with oil because you only need a couple of drops it really does last a long long time so this rrp is for 32 pounds and it says oil boosters come into their own in winter when you need just that bit more oomph to stop your skin drying out become your own mixologist and by combining a couple of drops of this exotic oil blend of acai and goji berries and abyssinian seed oil with your moisturizer or serum for a nourishing cocktail i guarantee this will instantly upgrade your existing skincare and give a lovely luminous glow i don't usually add my oils to my moisturizers or serums but it's something that i might try with this one i usually just use an oil at the end of my skincare regime probably half an hour before i go to bed i will just put um some oil on my face um usually a rose oil rose hip oil and i just feel like it does give you that extra boost of moisturization and just help seal all of your previous skincare into your skin but yeah that's how i normally use mine but yeah that sounds really interesting i'm interested to try that one out it looks lovely next up this one actually when i saw this in the box was the other one that drew me to it as well as the votary and this is from tropic skincare now i've heard a lot about tropic one of my friends absolutely raves about tropic skincare and it's the only stuff that she will use on her face so i am intrigued because i haven't tried anything from tropic before and this is their rainforest dew hydration serum it comes in this lovely box and again lovely packaging nice frosted glass bottom we've got 30 ml here and this says it's a super hydrating mix of plant extract suits and repairs the skin leaving your complexion with a dewy youthful bounce to quench its thirst once and for all so three to six drops onto freshly cleansed skin once or twice daily yeah it sounds interesting like i say i haven't tried anything from tropic before it's quite expensive but I hear really good things about it. So I'm yeah, interested to try this one. And on the opposite side, we've got something from Susie, who I presume is the is something to do with tropic skincare. It says high levels of rainfall help to maintain a perfectly balanced, moisture-rich environment in the world's tropical forests. I developed this soothing lightweight serum to do exactly that for your skin. A super hydrating dose of botanical extracts and reparative plant peptides transform parched complexions, replenishing your skin over time for a fresh face dewiness that lasts. Sounds right on my street, just what I want. And love the packaging, really pretty. So that RRP is for £42. And um, the leaflet just says, keeping my skin hydrated is always important, but especially at this time of year when the air is dry and the central heating is on. So I'm always on the lookout for skincare that will inject extra moisture into parched skin and leave it looking plumped up. This lovely light serum packed with hyaluronic acid and natural plant peptides does exactly that, leaving it looking toned and dewy for hours. I like the fact that they have sustainability in mind, offering refills so you don't have to throw away the pets. That's a good idea, actually, really good. Um, so yeah that sounds like one that I would like to use in the morning um, if you get that glow and keep that glow all day that sounds lovely and then last up we have our little deluxe mini travel size they've called it a deluxe travel size but I mean 2.5 mil for me is like a mini sample but this is the Dr. Haushuka is that how you say it? Haushuka translucent bronzing tint and this apparently RRP is £4 for this tiny tube so yeah interesting it is a really tiny tube oh, it's a really tiny tube as well but it is metal so it could be recycled which is good so yeah bronzing tint the color actually looks good there's like a little dot on the packaging i'm hoping that's the color that it is because that should be okay for me being a very pale person and this just says for a radiant sun kissed complexion and the leaflet says, I love to, love to look tanned. It's one of the quickest ways to feel perkier. If I've woken up feeling washed out, this is what I reach for. This clever bronzing liquid can be mixed with your usual daytime moisturiser and allows you to create different depths of bronze depending on what you need that day. It also gently blurs the appearance of imperfections, so it's a great alternative to wearing base when you want your skin to feel bare but still look healthy. That would be like the perfect product for me at the moment because I'm generally working from home. So I just don't feel the need to be putting makeup on all the time. So that's a nice way to sort of give your skin a bit of a perk up, make it look alive and glowy and healthy without having to cake on loads of makeup. So yeah, really, really impressed with the box. I will total up and put the value of all the items on the screen. Like I said, £38.95, it cost with the postage. Amazing, amazing box. Definitely, if you're not already, sign up to the 
Rockerbox uh, mailing list so that you find out in advance when these boxes are going to drop. I think this one sold out in a couple of hours. So you can sign up beforehand as well. They'll send you an email and say sign up for the VIP access and you get first dibs then on a box. Um, but they do usually still go to general sale. I think it was on sale for a couple of hours for general sale before it sold out. So definitely, definitely keep your eyes open in the future because these boxes are always such great value and the products and the brands are amazing. So yeah, really rate it. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these products, if you rate them or you slate them. I can't wait to try, especially the Votary and the Tropic one. And I will let you know in an upcoming video, probably one of my empties, what I think of them. Please do hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and join the family. Thanks very much for joining me today, guys. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Thanks.